War Tales is a story about the bandits, difficult times and hidden treasures. The action of this open world RPG takes place in the Middle Ages in the territory once great empire of Edoran. The empire was destroyed by a terrible disease that destroyed most of the population. All this led to decline and total banditry. In new condition it was possible to survive only by joining a gang. It is for one of the bandit squads that you will play. You have your own camp that you can develop, hire new people and pump various skills from them. Complete various orders and explore dangerous places in a search of the hidden treasures. Despite the level of difficulty, most of the disasters that have befallen my squad of unlucky merc have been down to war tales in ability to even break down the basics, let alone its more complex systems, while I don't think that early access is a good enough excuse to have a shitty user experience. I'll admit that it has also been the source of some fun surprises, like when I discovered that I could recruit animals. My squad started out as a group of boring human pals setting off their first adventure. They mostly suck at everything, but with every turn based flight survive and every new item craft, they get slightly better. As well as having combat classes, they can pick up professionals like fishing and smithing, using these skills to make food, gear and through hitting map merchants go, they are fine. Well, I guess. At some point, my squad got their hands on some rope. Maybe from a dead bandit, there is a lot of them. Rope can be used for climbing, apparently, which I've yet to do. But more important, rope can also be used to bend the animals. I discovered this randomly when I was beating up some wolves while one of my Lupin 4 was engaged with an Ali. A new ability appeared on the hotbar of my mercs. I could knock out and capture the wolf it informed me. Obviously, I had to do it. No harm. Given this wolf has been stopped nearly to death and then kidnapped, it was surprisingly quick to join the gang. It had no complaints, it didn't have some dietary requirements to next to gold, which is required for plenty of things, but especially the wages. Food is war tale's most important resource. Your gang will demand frequent breaks to rest and munch, and failing to fill their beliefs will lead to desertion pretty quickly. Adding more members to the team means you need more food and sometimes specific kinds of food. Wolves like me, as do cannibals, and it turned out people infected with the plague. During my first few days in War Tales, I had needing to constantly concern myself with the grub. It's hardly glamorous, but now I'm at the point where I have so much food I keep having to sell it to wandering merchants or in own. I'm pretty overloaded with the carcasses, pork chops and allergy edible rats. I had to buy a donkey to help carry my burden, it's great. Fighting a single pack of wolves is going to give you days of food, as well as resources that can be sold or crafted into the stuff that can be sold for even more. Food's no longer an issue for me now, even with more animals joining the crew, but I've yet to reach the point where I'm not this bad for cash. Wages shallow up most of I earn pretty quickly, even now I'm actually trying to turn my loot into the profits and not just relying on the quest rewards. This is one reason I'm a big fan of criterias as they don't even know what money is. Sadly they don't even know what tactics are either and just do their own thing during the fights. That's why my little wolf pack didn't last for a very long time, but I wouldn't let that setback stop me from living out of my dreams. So there is a point when a game you ran out the money, so it was time to get back some profitable violence. You've got options here, hang around the woods hunting wolves, as I said before, sell their teeth, make wolf sausage from their sausage bits, use their leather to make clothes and sell the clothes back to the blacksmith. 
or sold the wolves, mined some iron, or through a delightful minigame, smith some look picks, and go crime bizzling while Cromlock chest owned by a wolf farmers if you don't mind hiding from the guards for a spell. As well as established through, I'm thinking of Covert, who shuns board leadership, so I opted for the structured comfort of contract killings. Wartar's turn-based tactics have a focus on positioning that has you all thinking more largely than you have average cover and flash facts. Melee engagements, for example, forces participants into lock combat and designating from the save lock means that the other gets a free opportunity to attack. This means you can engage an archer so they force to use their useless fist to eat a free attack, for example. A gripe here. And when I find it's true, a lot of games that are turn-based tactics are just one feature among many. Sometimes fight can run too long. I once fought around 15 reds, 15, in early game. Lower level characters have few abilities to spin things up, and so the directory of move attack weight is felt all money kill when the weight portion means waiting for 15 reds to move. 15, again. That's too many rats. Happily, weapons feel very different from each other from the outset, which doesn't have negate some early game plodding. It's somehow that survive game too. Let's the type survive that has to use single-handed catching the homes of sources, woodlands, animals to firewood, and more the essence of carving out a space for yourself, of making you live in the world you inhabit, planning, roads, packing, provisions, thinking about the return journey and creating your own mini objectives because sometimes it's worth just levitating from the critical path to stock up on a particular resource. The routine pleasures of cyclical experience on the edge rather than a straight shot to glory measured in a object ticks. Here are some general complaints that I imagine will likely be fixed while the game goes through early access. Quite a few the ability description are still in French. I kind of appreciate the romance of making life of that tactical decision based on cool sounding French words. I can't read through. Le Overwatch? What the hell is that? Also battles in my review build could be better quite slottery. I never had a crush, but I did frequently think the fr Okay, come on, I don't wanna listen to the French. Stop doing this. Please make localization. This thought can be quite wrong until you figure out what you're going to do. Some of the nuances such as working out exactly what keeps your companions happy enough to not desert is a pack. All through whatever this is true negative depends on you how you look at it. At the same time investment sure but I've started seeing this sort of approach to design as a value of proportion recently. The added bonus of uh, one time only discovering tools while you poke around the fresh world where you everything is new and most of it is dangerous. It's for the reason I decided to start the game again and again after a good chunk. Try to more tivery to play a bit less cautiously, promote the bore, and there is I discovered just how excited I was to start again to really clench an optimal few few hours. What else nails the restart and not all games can claim that. I could point to the deep of system or an approach to design that trust the players enough to let them discover things themselves. They are both true to some extent, but I think the most useful thing to important about War Tales is that it just has well a certain special something. Maybe there is some cool sounding French for that that I'm forgetting. The fact that uh, it's far from finished me was very interested in being. Moi Crons, please, Sacre Bleu, thank you very much for listening and watching the video. So, peace. All the, the links will be in the description. Don't forget you to comment and subscribe.